Hi guys, it's been a while. I haven't done a Sephora sale video in probably over a year now. I'm so excited to show you guys my routine, products I'm loving, and also show you my haul. We're gonna dive right into it because I know that this video might get a little lengthy, so I'm gonna try to keep it short and concise. Vlogging is my usual content, so if you have been with me on this journey since even January, then you have not seen a Sephora sale video. So what I do every Sephora video is I do my makeup routine, I show you all the products that I'm loving, I apply it right on camera so you can see how it blends out and why I love those products, then after that we go shopping together we go to sephora and then i come back and i do a haul and that is what i do so i'm excited to bring you guys along if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions about any other products please comment down below but everything will be linked in the description box let's get into the routine part of the video where you see how i created my everyday makeup look I always start off with sunscreen. It's a must. I already applied this to my skin. This is my third or fourth repurchase of the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Watermelon Sunscreen because it's so good. It's lightweight and I just love it so much. It doesn't break me out. For primers, I have been using this Milk Makeup one for at least a year and a half. I've repurchased this about three to four times. This has been in my makeup kit since I was in the seventh grade. So that says a lot about how much I love it. Just taking a little bit here, applying this on my T-zone. I'm also putting a little bit on my finger and applying this on my T-zone as well, but focusing more on the nose. If you don't like Raven Foundation, these two products will be your best friend. As you can see, it's clearly beaten up because all of the decal has rubbed off, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter. This is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. And I use the shade 2 and this is in the shade light. These two products will give you enough coverage where it covers up a lot of the redness and also brightens your eyes. If I'm going for a really natural look, this product doubles as my concealer. I have to get a new one today. I'm basically scraping the size of this tube. If you are looking for a great foundation, I will never stop talking about this one, especially if you have oily skin. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and I use the shade 2 and 2. I've been using this product for about 6 years, and it's amazing. The downside is it's pretty pricey, but a little goes a long way. This concealer is so full coverage, but also looks natural. And if you also don't like wearing foundation, then this will be enough for a nice full coverage look. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, and I use the shade Silk. I repurchased this probably 6 times at this point. So good. I just apply it under my eyes and on my cheeks where I have my acne scars and a little around my nose and mouth. I let this sit for about a minute or so because when you let the concealer dry down a bit, it becomes even more opaque and full coverage. So while I let this sit, I do my eyebrows and I have my eyebrows microbladed so I don't need a full coverage product. All of the decal rubbed off on my product so I'm pretty sure this is the Benefit Gimme Brow and it's just a little applicator here this is the mini size because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it but i do and it's nice it's easy to work with and then i take a little brush and with the concealer under my eye i go under my brows and i'll clean them up with some concealer and once that's done i'll go in with a beauty blender a product that i forgot to put on is the dr dennis gross plump and repair lip treatment and this is nice because it really leaves my lips feeling really smooth. It's not sticky because it is a serum. Next product is the Milk Makeup Bronzer. I have tried so many bronzers and I always go back to this one because it's compact, it's easy to travel with, it's blendable. I've tried the Makeup by Mario bronzer, the Rare Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury wand. I've tried them all and I always just come back to this one. I always put the bronzer on my eye as well because it just transitions everything and there's no harsh line just take a brush and i'll lightly just blend everything together and then i'm taking a little brush to blend out the nose contour so next is blush i have a cream blush that i've been using for so long as you can see i hit the pan and then i have a lineup of some powder blushes so this is the makeup by mario soft pop plumping veil in perfect pink take a brush and i go a little crazy with this so i blend it out with a beauty blender but i am someone that loves blush and i just need a bright pop of color on my cheeks you have to blend everything out so then i take a beauty blender and i go and i almost carve out where i put the contour so i put it under my eyes blend that out again lightly pressing it underneath 
or put the bronzer just so it doesn't blend everything out and I always do my forehead just because the bronzer gets all the way down to my brows when I blend it out so when I use a beauty blender and I kind of buff it out then it creates a softer line setting my face just so it locks all that in this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish next let's get onto the powder products so i always put cream products and liquid products first and then i set everything with powder so now i'm going to set my face with the airbrush flawless finish from charlotte tilbury this is my fifth one i've been using this for at least a couple of years now but this one is so good because it creates a nice blurring effect i go in lightly with the brush and i even go over my brows as well just because i get oily everywhere so i always just set everything and then i go in with a beauty blender puff and i take this and i put this underneath my eyes but this product is so so good that i believe that's why they created this product this is a brightening powder i use this under my eyes just to take away that orange cast but before i do that I'm going to show you what I do for my eyes. So it doesn't matter what bronzer. I'm not raving about this product just because I just use it to use it. I've had this for a couple of years now and I'm just trying to use it up. This is the Patrick Ta Contour Powder and Bronzer Duo. I've had this for a while. This shade is a little too cool for me so I don't use it much. But the powder I use every day for my eyes. So this is all just because I use it on my eyes every single day for the past however many years I've had this. I think at this point it's been two and a half years. So I go in and also I do my nose contour as well. So once all that is set, I go in with the brightening powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I take this and I trace out my nose contour and then I go in under my eyes, on my chin, down my nose, and then my forehead. Now going in with the blush, my favorite part. So I have a few blushes that I would love to share with you guys. My top three brands are Makeup by Mario, Milk Makeup, and Charlotte Tilbury. So you're going to see a lot of that. But this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush in Mellow Mauve. So I love this one. This is my everyday if I'm just doing a very neutral soft glam. If I want to get crazy and add a nice pop of color, I add the Patrick Ta She's That Girl because it is a nice pretty pop of pink. I think I'm going to use this one today too. But I also love learning blushes. So any of the Patrick Ta and any of the Make by Mario blushes are amazing. My recently discovered Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Love Glow. I got my mom to use this one too and she loves it. It's more so if you want a highlighted look as well. So these three products, amazing. I love them all so I kind of just mix and match whenever I feel like it. But I always use this product as the base blush because it's a nice neutral pink. So I go in and I also go on my temples as well because important to blend everything together and because i want to do a nice pop of pink i'm going to go in with the patrick ta she's that girl and i just take a tiny bit just take one little tap in there and i put this directly on the tops of my cheekbones and i do it lightly because it's very very pigmented next we're doing some highlight and i'm using the makeup by mario soft glow highlighter in golden as you can see it's well loved i just take a little eyeshadow brush and i apply this on the inner corners of my eyes and you'll see how this really just transforms my whole entire makeup look i always put it on my corners of my eyes my cupid's bow and my favorite part you cannot skip this step Putting it on the tip of your nose. It just makes such a big difference. I can never ever skip that step. Because I put powder on my eyebrows, I always have to remember to brush through just to get any excess powder. And if I'm doing an everyday look, sometimes I'll skip this step, but I usually go in with the Make by Mario Master Max palette and I just do a quick eyeshadow wing. But if you do want a bold eyeliner look, then I've been using nonetheless, of course. Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Liquid Liner. I like this one. It doesn't smudge and it's also very easy to take off. So if you are looking for an eyeliner pen, I've been using this one. I don't have a preference just because I normally don't wear eyeliner, but when I do, I use this one. Next, I'll set my face again and then I always set my face before I put on my mascara just because if I don't, it could smudge. So I'm setting my face again with the Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't really realize a difference in eyelash curlers until I used this one because this one is amazing and it really holds my curl. This is the Shiseido Lashes and 
Also, I saw this on TikTok and they said that if you have Asian lashes, because Asian lashes are just short and straight, then this is going to be the best one. And I was skeptical for a couple of years. I held it off, but this year I decided to go for it. They're right. It's amazing and I'm obsessed. So I go in with this first. I love this product so much, the Tarte Primer. And then I go between these two. I really like this one. I have to actually toss this one out because I used it all. This is the Tarte Tartlet XL Tubi Mascara. And this is the Tarte Tubi Mascara. So this is the original one and I love this one. However, they came out with this one. And this one's even better because it makes your lashes look even longer. However, when I ran out of this mascara, this one was sold out. So I bought this one again. But I would probably repurchase this one if they have it in stock today but they're both really amazing formulas but the first thing that i always do is i go in with this lash primer i don't know if you guys can see that but this is after one coat of mascara and it doesn't look crazy it doesn't clump up easily and it really just separates your lashes it's so good for the lip liners of course i love the make by mario this is the spice chai this has been my recent go-to for three years almost I have been obsessed with the Makeup Forever 606 Wherever Walnut and this was a really nice neutral pink with a little bit of a brown undertone so it's not too pink. And then if you want a nice brown, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Foxy Brown. This one's really nice as well. I'm just going to do this Spice Chai today because I have been using this product nonstop recently. I need to sharpen all my pencils. And now that I primed my lips earlier with the Dr. Dennis Gross product, my lips feel so moisturized. So these are three lip liners that I'm obsessed with and everything is going to be linked down below. And then I always go in with a lip tint. You guys know I love a good lip tint. A lot of people really love the Benefit Benetint, which I also really love. However, it's a bit sheer and this one really packs a punch of color. So if you want something that's a bit more sheer and natural, use the Benefit one. And I did use that one for a while and then I purchased this one and use it when I run out of the benefit and I haven't looked back. This is the Clarins Lip Tint in Pink. I'm not exactly sure if they sell this in stores in Sephora, but this one is really pigmented. This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Rose Glow. This one's really nice. It gives you a nice plump and also it's not sticky, which is great. However, you just be careful because if you twist it up too much and you apply it, it's basically just gonna melt and it's gonna be messy. So just put a little bit out at a time. And then this is the Rare Beauty Lip Tint Oil. And this is in the color Wonder. I love this one because it's a nice stain as well. The color really sticks. And also, it just feels really nice on. It kind of feels like a mousse texture. I just love a nice bright pink lip. This is the finished look. And those are the products that I use every single day. And I'm obsessed with them. I'll link everything down below. Here's a closer look at my makeup. I just love a good neutral glam every single day. I love a good natural glam and that's exactly what it is. I'm just gonna get ready and we can go to Sephora. expect to spend that much money i actually had a mental note that i would not spend more than 250 dollars but here i am with double that first things first starting off i wanted to get a new blush brush because the one that i use right now is not the best this is the sephora pro brush blush this is 93 and it's a nice little angled blush brush and so I'm excited about this because it should be easy to just blend everything out. Next, I got the Peace Out Acne Dots. These are the nighttime dots. They have day dots, but they just don't work as well. So I always just get the original ones and this is the 40 pack. Then I got another Touchland um, hand sanitizer. I love the scent of sandalwood, so I feel like I would like this one. It's the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops, and I use this every single day, especially if I wear makeup. This product is the best. I got my mom onto this one as well, and she absolutely loves it. 
And then I have to get another setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Spray. And a few more refills that I got are the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. I got the same shade in two. And then I also got another concealer, Hourglass Vanish Concealer in Silk, the same one that I used earlier today. And then I got a refill on the eye brightener that I also used. And then another refill that I got is the Tarte Lit Tubing Mascara. And then this product is what sent it over the edge. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. I would say the first time I used it, it was really strong on my skin. So it is directed to use it a couple times a week and then gradually build up to every day. I was using this maybe every other day and I was seeing great results. My skin was starting to smooth out because I have a lot of acne scars. So this product right here, I wasn't planning to get, it wasn't in my cart, but I thought about how I really am unhappy with my skin and so spending another $80, because it's $97, with a 20% off, it'd be around $78. I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it because I might as well just invest in my skin. These products right here were the extra like $160 I didn't need to spend. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. So as you guys saw, I was swatching the Ole Henriksen Lip Peptide Treatment and I decided to go with the color Strawberry Sorbet. And this, I'll read the claims of this. This claims to visibly plump, smooth, and strengthen your lip and also hydrate them. So it's called the Pout Preserve Peptide Treatment. This is what it looks like right here. And it also smells delicious. Here's the packaging. It's so gorgeous. It actually does smell like strawberry sorbet. Here's what it looks like. Oh, wow. I'm really loving this formula. It's not sticky whatsoever. It smells amazing. So when it comes to the peptide treatment, that's kind of been something that's been trending and circulating in the skincare beauty world. Rode is known for their lip peptides, however, I don't really like the formula of the Rode ones. I have four of them and it always has some sort of like grittiness in the texture. I don't know if she improved the formula since then because I did get her set right when she launched it. I think she launched the full set a year ago um, and I still use them. But after I just put this on, it is so smooth, so hydrating. I love that it's a nice tint as well. I showed you guys in Sephora the few swatches that I had on my hands and they do have really nice pigment. So I'm excited. I'm going to keep this in my purse. And then this is something I've been wanting to try. I've been holding off from buying this for a while because I knew that the sale was coming up. So this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder. I got this in two. I was debating between one and two because one had a pinker undertone. So I knew that it would be more brightening but I just wanted to use this as an all over setting and I don't want my entire face to be pink. I'm not gonna open this up because it's a loose powder, but apparently it's supposed to really blur out your skin. So I will let you guys know. Last but not least, let's get into the hair care products that I got. So I got two whey products and two Briogeo. I have been kind of freaking out about my hair because I feel like my hair is shedding a lot more. I don't know if it's because, actually, I can't say I don't know. I know it's because of the amount of stress in the past five months or four months. And so now I just feel like my hair is shedding excessively. So I'm kind of getting freaked out and I have really thick hair. And so when I notice that I'm shedding a lot more, I feel like that's a problem. The first thing that I got is the Briogeo Caffeine and Biotin Peptide Density Shampoo. Now I have the serum that I use every other day, but I wanted to pair it with the shampoo. Also another thing that I learned that I guess I already knew this, but I wasn't really implementing it because I wasn't into taking care of my hair that much, was getting a detox shampoo. Another big factor for hair shedding a lot is product buildup. Once every couple of weeks, because I don't wash my hair every day, I'm going to use the Whey Detox Shampoo. If you're looking for a detox shampoo, this one is it. It really clarifies everything and it strips all the oil. Your hair will feel the cleanest it's ever been, but you're not supposed to use this every single time you shower or else it can really strip your hair and damage it. Then I got the Whey Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using the Briogeo one, but I don't know, I can't really tell a big difference or maybe I'm not applying enough, but my mom loves this stuff. So I wanted to try it as well. I just got the mini size. Two Whey products are the mini sizes. And then the last thing that I got is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair 
moisture damage defense leave-in treatment and this is supposed to be for split ends as well this is what it looks like i'm excited because i just want my hair to be nice and healthy that is my 2024 holiday savings sephora haul i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about any of the products i talked about please comment down below and also i would love to know what you are looking forward to buying the most at sephora so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe although my normal content is not beauty related i do a ton of vlogs that have a lot of different elements from lifestyle cooking cleaning productivity working all of that so follow along thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys